Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, I want to share a story that brings tears to my eyes. The Prophet Noah, may peace be upon him. He was the Prophet who called his people for years on end. Years on end. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحًا إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ فَلَبِثَ فِيهِمْ أَلْفَ سَنَةٍ إِلَّا خَمْسِينَ عَامًا Nuh alayhi salam, Allah says, we sent him to his people. He lived with them for a thousand years, less 50, 950 years. He lived for much longer, but with his people, calling them to Allah, 950 solid years. He reminded them, come to Allah. Imagine a Nabi of Allah, a messenger of Allah, 950 years. Do you know how many people accepted his message? The maximum number ever mentioned is 80 and the minimum is 11. So somewhere between 11 and 80 people. In how many years? In nine and a half centuries. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him thereafter, and this is the point I want to raise, that every time you call them and everyone who has had a reminder, we wrote it down. We know about it. Your ears have heard so many reminders about salah, about dressing, about abandoning zina and adultery, about abandoning sin, about abandoning pornography and whatever other sins there are, about abandoning all of them and engaging in that which will please Allah, reading the Quran, going out to learn lessons, enrolling in some school and trying to learn more about Allah. You've heard it a million and one times, so many times. Every single time you heard it, you need to know ma asabaka lam yakul That which got to you was never meant to miss you. Allah knows. He planned for it to get to you. And this is why the gatekeepers of hell will ask all those who will be doomed to hell as they're entering hell. What's the question? Towards the end of Surah Zumar, Allah makes mention of how the people of hellfire will be entering hellfire in groups. And as they're entering, the angels will ask them a question. Didn't Allah send you reminders and messengers telling you, warning you about this day, warning you about hellfire, reminding you that this is what the outcome of those who have been disobedient will, uh, disobedient will be. And the people will say, yeah, they did. But now it's too late. Which means Allah knows reminders have come to you and to me. Messengers and messages from the messengers and messengers of the messenger have come and they've spoken to us and they've told us we've had reminders in the form of books, in the form of the Quran and the Sunnah, in the form of lectures, in the form of CDs, in the form of radio programs, in the form of television programs, in the form of the internet, in the form of whatever other messages you might have got on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. We're talking of the correct usage of these items, not the wrong usage. You know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and so many other things, they are just like a knife. You can either use it for something good, or you can use it to commit murder, to do something bad. It's up to you how you use it, subhanAllah. But remember, every time you see a message, you will be questioned about it. You will be asked about it. Wallahi, there will come a day when you will be told, look, we sent you three and a half million messages. We don't want to be stuck to say, oh, I didn't take it seriously. Tick off your list. How many messages have you had? Start ticking today. How many messages do you have? You will tick off before you know it by the end of the year. If you are really conscious of it, you will have ticked off at least 20,000 reminders from Allah. Minimum. I promise you different types of reminders have come to you. But the thing is, look at Nuh alayhi salam. When he complains to Allah, Oh Allah, look at my people. Qala Rabbi in Surat Nuh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The Prophet Noah, may peace be upon him. He calls out to his people. He called, he's telling Allah, Oh Allah, I called out to my people day and night or night and day. And I call them openly. I call them in secret, but they are just going further and further away. How many of us hear a good Islamic message calling us towards Allah, going towards our own maker, and we are going further away. May Allah safeguard myself and yourselves. So Allah tells Nuh alayhi salam when he complains, Allah says, you know what? <laughs> 
Oh Noah, now, and this was 950 years later, now don't bother with them anymore. Don't bother with them anymore. None of those who have disbelieved will believe. The ones who have believed, that's it. The figure is closed. It's sealed. Now start preparing your ark and the punishment is going to come to all of those who remain. So that is why when the ark was being built, no one was accepting Islam. They started laughing at him and they kept on saying, Ya Nuh, sirta najaran ba'da an kunta nabiyya. Oh no, you've now become a carpenter, but up to now you were a prophet of Allah. They were laughing and scoffing. So Allah says, don't worry. Don't even turn towards their scoffing, not at all, because their quota of reminders is finished. That's my point. How do you know or how do I know if my quota of reminders is over? How do I know? Yes, we probably would expect more and more reminders up to the point of death. But what guarantee do you have or do I have? If Allah says every one of you has a quota of reminders, then you can tick it off and there's one less going to come. Who do you want to remind you? Well, they will remind you. You have had thousands of people come to remind you in your life. People you've looked up to, people you've dreamt to meet. One day I'm going to see this person. They came to you, they told you, turn to Allah, give up your bad dress code, your laziness for salah, your eating of haram, your, the, the, the ill treatment of your, your family members, the swear words that come out of your mouth, the way you treat your spouse, give it all up, the sins, the adultery, the gambling, the drinking, everything. You've heard the person of your choice, whom you look up to say exactly that. But the problem is Allah is going to record this. And if we don't take heed, we stand to lose. Because Allah will say, look, the most powerful message you wanted came to you. What did you do about it? Did you move? Did your heart soften up a little bit to say, oh Allah, I owe my entire existence to you who made me.